folks, welcome back to another Terraria speed build. In this one, it's no surprise if you read the title or saw the thumbnail that we are making a custom NPC home for our Witch Doctor. Now, if you're like me, when you think of a home for the Witch Doctor, it's probably going to be in the jungle, and it's probably going to be something, well, sort of rundown, organic, and possibly a witch's hut. And while I'd like to say that I'm more unique than that, I'm really not. I did the exact same thing. But where we decided to get a bit creative was actually to pull the focus away from the home and actually focus a little bit more on the ambient background. I think putting our witch doctor's home between these two really organic looking waterfalls just, I don't know, just really made it pop for me. And I, I think you're gonna like it. And speaking of likes, if you are enjoying any of the content here on the channel, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, or the uh, little dinner bell thingy so you can know when the next video hits the old YouTube universe. Additionally, if you do want to see me making any of these builds live, you can do so guys on Twitch every day of the week, except for Wednesdays and Sundays, and the Twitch link is down below. So with that, sit back, relax, and enjoy the build.
right, folks, so there we go. There is our custom NPC home for the Witch Doctor in Terraria. Now, I really do like the way this looks. It's funny how so much of my time actually got spent on doing the background work sort of as an afterthought initially that then became the priority. It kind of happens sometimes when you're building. Like I said, I don't go in with a particular plan. I just kind of have a rough idea of what I'm going to build or where I'm going to build. And I kind of just let it free flow from there. Now, looking at the build again of haircut and a few days later, I kind of realized that the top parts of the waterfall are very flat and symmetrical, and I probably should have added some just, just a bit more life by adding some background walls or some, I don't know, some, some trees or just something to give it a little bit more life. But overall, I'm very happy with how this build turned out. If you guys have any questions about how I put this together or some of the techniques I use or any of the materials, by all means, guys, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. And with that, we're done. So thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. And as always, thumbs if you liked it, thumbs if you loved it. We will see you in the next one.